What's up, MedTech Tams? Welcome or welcome back to Med... Uh, we are going to talk about... What's up, MedTech Tams? Welcome or welcome back to FEU MedTech TV. I am Kinsley, your resident vlogger for this month of March. We are going to talk about the FEU MedTech subjects for third year students. Before anything else, go grab your coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the vlog. By the way guys, before we actually hop into the video, just a disclaimer because I am still a second year medtech student and I am going to introduce to you third year medtech subjects. That's why I did some of my research and I also asked my friends medtech din sa FE which is nasa third year na sila. So these are basically their experiences and kung anong masasabi nila sa subject na yun since I ask their opinions about it. So, ayun, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Oh, wait lang. Before we go to the subjects, let me just remind you guys na super lacking achievement na kung makareach ka ng third year sa FEU kasi sobrang hirap. First batches, um, usually talaga, nagkakaroon ng qualifying exams or battery exams ang mga mag-third year pa lang sa FEU. Ginagawa nila yon for quality purposes of education and ginagawa talaga nila yon matagal na. But yung mga third year ngayon, yung mga last batch ng second year before, hindi na sila nakapag-qualifying exam because of the pandemic. So, sabi nila, kami, kami mga second year na mag-third year pa lang, magkakaroon kami ng qualifying exam. So, ayun, let's, let's do this. One more thing, itong mga subject na sasabihin ko ay based sa curricula ng FE. And it may change sa iba't ibang university. Kunwari, itong subject na to, tinitake ng third year first sem sa FEU. Pero yung iba naman, tinitake yung subject na yon ng third year second sem. So, magkakaiba. Depende lang siya sa curriculum ng school. So, let's start. I have prepared my notes here for subjects ng first semester and second semester and ang reference ko ay galing din sa FE. So, ayun. For the first semester, these are the subjects. So, let's start ang mga subjects for third year. A continuation lang din ang mga subjects from last second year. Mas pinadipen lang siya. Okay, yeah, let's start na for the first semester. Clinical Chemistry 1, CC1. These are about the introduction sa principles, procedures and physiological basis and significance of testing performed sa clinical chemistry. So, dito, it includes quality control, reference values, and safety. So, sabi dito, sa biochem, di ba, tinik namin yun ng second year. And, para siyang general terms lang yung mga pinag-aaralan sa biochem. Pero, pag nag-proceed ka na sa third year, ano na siya, much complicated and deeper understanding for the subject and for the clinical components. And please bear with me if I keep checking on my notes. You will also study bodily fluids, diagnosis, tutulong mga albumin, ganun, paano mag-interpret ng laboratory test, and pahapyaw itong subject na ito for clinical chemistry too, which it take for second semester ng third year. Next is clinical bacteriology or also known as microbiology 1. Um, this is focused on study ng bacteria and significant viruses. Here, you will study the morphology. Pwede mo siyang identify I mean, i-identify mo siya kung ground positive or ground negative yung substance niya. Basta yun, i-identify mo kung ground positive, ground negative, ganun. And guys, ang microbiome 1 is puro bacteria ang nakapokus. So next is, let's go to hematology 1. Hema 1. So here is a hematology by the name itself. It's all about blood. Puro white blood cells, red blood cells. And here there's a lab testing. magi interpret ka. Meron ding platelet count. And there is a varying component and structure of blood. So dito, pag-aaralan kung paano kumakapal, paano luminipis, paano lumalaki or lumiliit yung blood. Basta yung structure ng blood. How they are produced and yung diseases na associated sa kanila. Maganda daw aralin ang concepts nito based on my third year medtech friends. Nakakatawa daw aralin yung concepts ng hematology 1. 
next subject for first semester is immunology and serology, immunosero. So here sa serology is the study of serum, yung mga functions ng antibodies, yung significance nila, and matatato nyo dito ang HIV. By the way, sabay inaaral lang immunology and serology. Here, matatakal nyo din ang mga plasma cells, T-helper cells, ganun. And sa immunology, ma-study nyo yung body functions and paano gumagana ang ating immune system. Ano ang mangyayari pag may problem sa immune system natin. Basically, it's about the immune response. For example, sa inflammation. So, here sa inflammation, for example, walang inflammation na nangyari sa katawan natin. Indication lang yun, guys, na may problema sa immune system natin. So, ayan, yun yung mga matatakal sa immunosero. Also, mapag-aaralan nyo din yung all about acute or chronic inflammations. And, papasok din dito how to cope up with allergic reactions. Papasok din dito ang ESR, ganon, erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Ayun, ayun lang talaga. Ayun na talaga. It's all about immune response and different factors that contribute to our immune response. Dito din pala mapag-aaralan kung anong mangyayari sa body natin pag may naganap na transplantation sa ating mga organs. So, next subject is the introduction to medical technology research or the research one. So, ayun, gagawa kayo ng thesis and itatakon nyo dito ang chapters 1 to 3. So, here ang um, tip dito, mas okay kung maraming RRL ang mahanap mo sa proposed research title or research topic nyo. And take note, mahalaga na ma-approve muna ito ng inyong professor para dire-diretso na wala na maging problema sa gagawin yung thesis para smooth lang yung flow. And here, you should be a specific title pa lang ng research and mga gagawin para hindi ito magkakaroon ng kahit anong loophole ng mga panelists pag i-check na nila yung research nyo. Isa pa is dapat specific yung objectives ng research, pati na rin yung statement of the problem. And dapat ina-analyze ng mabuti yung mga results. Ayan, that's for research one. Next subject is molecular biology and diagnostics. So, dito, para siyang cytogenetics ng second year, pero mas pinadeep yung understanding and mas complicated. Here, mapag-aaralan mo yung molecular disorders, chromosomal disorders, at iba't ibang klase ng PCR. Akala natin, nung second year, yung mga PCR na napag-aaralan natin sa cytogenic genetics, ayun na yun. Pero no, guys, maraming iba't ibang klase pa na ng PCR at kung ano-ano pang mga test or terms na naaral natin nung cytogenetics. So, ayun. Of course, since this third year puro na mga professional subjects, so, ibig sabihin wala ng general education subjects. Pero meron pa rin WRP5, which is the Wellness and Recreation Program. Since this pandemic, ginagawa namin sa WRP is mga FLJ. Pero, not sure lang for this coming academic year, pag mag-third year na kami, kung anong gagawin for WRP, kung magbabago ba sila. We are done for the first semester subjects ng third year. Let's proceed sa second semester subjects ng third year. Let's start with clinical chemistry 2. Since I've already talked about clinical chemistry 1 for the first semester, clinical chemistry 2 will provide an advanced knowledge of the metabolism and function of hormones. This includes the laboratory investigation of disorders tulad sa thyroid, pituitary, adrenal, hypothalamic, ovarian, testicular, and renal hormones. You will study the use of the two more markers in oncology and also included are iron status, protein abnormalities, therapeutic drug monitoring, and drugs of abuse testing, and the genetic basis of disease. So basically, itong clinical chemistry 2 is kadugtong lang ng clinical chemistry 1. But in clinical chemistry 2, mas marami kayong mapag-aaralan about renal function. So, sa kidney. Next is for hematology 2. Kasunod lang din ng hematology 1. So, 
yung mga concepts na sinabi ko ng HEMA 1 ay mas dinagdagan dito sa HEMA 2. So here, may include din sa pag-aaralan ang different pathways. Ano ang mangyayari pag nasugatan ka, ganun. And blood disorders, iba't ibang genetic disorders, there is more to that. Yung akala natin, ayun lang na definition ay mas marami pa palang under or nagbabranch sa sakit na yun. And also, sa hematology too, like what I said in HEMA 1, Maganda aralin yung mga concepts nito. Focus ang HEMA to sa platelets, sa coagulation system, sa lab test, and yung mga diseases associated. That's basically hematology too. Next subject will be histopathologic and cytologic techniques. Here, sa subject na to, may halo siyang immunosero. So, ayun nga, nahati ang subject na to for lab and leg. Here, sa laboratory, you will study how to stain the specimen, paano gumawa ng specimen, paano hatiin, paano guntingin, and paano mag-decalcify and dehydrate. Next, lecture part nito. As you will study the tissue repairs and how it generates. Dito papasok ang cell injury, cellular response to stress, about mga genetic disorder, Mendelian genetics, tsaka mga chromosomal disorder. So that's histopathologic and cytologic techniques. Next will be immunohematology or blood banking. So here, ito ay counterpart ng immunosero. You will study about antigens and antibodies. And you will also tackle about blood transfusion. Dito, pag-aaralan nyo yung mabusising paglilipat ng tubo sa receiver ng blood. Sa recipient ng blood. So, madami pang test na gagawin for every blood donation or every blood transfusion just to make sure na na-prevent ang mga hemolytic disorders. And besides from that, mapag-aaralan din dito ang mga iba't ibang blood groups. Next subject will be mycology and virology. So, this is the microbiome 2. Ito parang katugtong lang din ng microbiome 1. But in microbiome 2, you will study more about fungi and yeast. Here, you will study also pathogenesis and sobrang daming terminology sa subject na ito. So, ayun. Next will be medical technology research, paper writing and presentation, which is the research 2. Kadugtong siya ng research 1. Dito na yung pinaka-finalization ng research and of course, defense. Next subject is the AUBF or the Analysis of Urine and Body Fluids. Here is all about urine testing, analysis of body fluids, cerebrospinal fluid, amniotic fluid, ganon. Basta puro siya diagnosis ng urine. Yung component, abnormalities, blood or glucose in urine, tsaka mga medical cases sa urine. Of course, hindi mawawala ang WRP 6, Wellness and Recreation Program 6. Ayan, so puro professional subjects ng medtech ang pag-aaralan for third year. Pero hindi lang mawawala yung WRP 5 and WRP 6. And I also asked my friends kung ano ba yung mahirap na subject, madaling subject for this. Kung ano masasabi nila sa mga subject na ito. And nabanggit naman sa akin na ang mahirap daw dito is yung clinical chemistry and yung histopathology. Based on their experiences, yun daw yung mahirap. Next naman is yung nakakahilong aralin kasi sobrang dami ng terminologies and nag-iiba yung mga pangalan which is the bacteriology at yung mycology. Yun daw yung sobrang nakakahilo aralin. Ayun nga kasi iba't ibang terms, iba't ibang pangalan. And for me guys kasi, lahat naman ng subject na nabanggit ko for third year is mahirap. Actually, lahat ng subjects for medtech is mahirap talaga. But I believe, hindi lang dapat nakadepende ito sa student kung paano siya mag-aral. Pero, malaking factor din yung prof kung marunong siya magturo, maayos, or maganda siya magturo ng mga concepts. Kasi, sobrang helpful talaga kung yung prof mo is maganda magturo para naman may intindihan agad ng student yung lesson and mas ma-motivate, ma-inspire siyang mag-aral ng subject na yon At least, na ituro ito ng maayos ng prof. 
So that's basically all the subjects for third year medtech sa FEU. And per semester for third year is a total of 24.5 units. I hope nakatulong yung mga sinabi ko para sa mga incoming third year students. I hope may naintindihan kayo, may natutunan kayo sa mga sinabi ko about the subjects and nakahelp ito sa inyo in any way that you needed it. If you want more videos like this about medtech and other subjects ng mga first year, second year, third year, and fourth year, please subscribe to FEU MedTech TV on YouTube. And you can also check their page on Facebook. And also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram account. Before I end this video, just want to thank FEU MedTech Society for choosing me as one of your resident vloggers. Okay, so I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned on this channel for more MedTech videos. We can do this. You can do this. Good luck, Katusok. Bye!